Hello, I'm Jared Taylor with American Renaissance. There's a chance Joe Biden will be our next president. What would he do in office? Let's start with his website, which is called JoeBiden.com. The first thing it wants from you is money. But there's a section called Joe's Vision with pages and pages of promises. He is going to be a busy guy. A lot of this is standard lefty stuff. He says housing should be a right, not a privilege. When he's president, everyone will get a home. It will be safe and healthy, accessible, energy efficient and resilient, located near good schools and with a reasonable commute to your job. Sounds like a better place than the one I've got. Joe will spend $640 billion over the next 10 years on all of this accessible, energy resilient housing. And Joe does not like guns. He will make it illegal to manufacture or sell assault weapons and high capacity magazines. He would make it illegal to buy weapons or ammo online and make you store weapons so securely that it will be hard to reach them when you need them. He would also pass laws to make firearms manufacturers take legal responsibility if a weapon is misused, whatever that means. That would probably put them out of business. And he gave a solidly Democrat answer to this question. He's fifth from the left. Raise your hand if, gover if your government plan would provide coverage for undocumented immigrants. Okay. It looks like he was maybe the last to raise his hand, but that could be maybe because he thinks slowly. If every illegal in the country can get dialysis or a heart transplant on your dime, it'd be worth hopping the border just for that. Uncle Jose wants a Smithsonian Museum that's all about Hispanics. We already have one for American Indians, obviously modeled on a teepee, and two for blacks. Why not one for Asians, too? Mr. Biden is stumping hard for Muslim votes. And in this video, he claims to be an amateur theologian. Look, one of the things I think is important, I wish, I wish we taught more in our schools about the Islamic faith. I wish we talked about all the great confessional faiths. It's one of the great confessional faiths. And what people don't realize is one of my avocation is theology. Don't realize is that we, we all come from the same root here in terms of our fundamental basic beliefs. It's reassuring to know that Christians and Muslims have the same basic beliefs. Joe also says Muslim Americans are essential to the American fabric we would completely unravel without them. President Biden would resume Mr. Obama's practice of celebrating the Muslim feast of Eid al-Fitr in the White House. The tradition is for each family to slit an animal's throat, butcher it, and eat it. Joe could do that in the Rose Garden. Mr. Biden also promises to, in his words, combat the epidemic of violence against transgender women of color. I didn't know there was an epidemic. I did find out that an estimated 27 trans and gender non-conforming people were killed last year. I don't know how many were of color. But if 27 cases makes an epidemic, we sure have an epidemic of hate crime hoaxes. I'm sure Mr. Biden will combat that too. Mr. Biden promises to set up an independent task force on prosecutorial discretion. It would be outside the U.S. Justice Department and it will fight discrimination decisions to arrest and charge people with crimes. That means deciding not to arrest or charge certain people. I don't like the sound of that. We've seen a lot of it lately with hundreds, thousands of people not being arrested or charged for rioting and looting. Mr. Biden has good news for convicts. He says that as soon as they're out of the big house, they'll get guaranteed housing, every welfare program, and the right to vote. He will immediately reinstate DACA, which means children smuggled into the country illegally can stay forever. And he would make sure their parents can't be deported either. All illegals would get what he calls a roadmap to citizenship. 
and he would raise refugee admissions from the current 18,000 a year to at least 125,000 a year. And he says chain migration, not admission based on skills, will be the foundation of our immigration system. This is because turning the country brown is a great thing. Fewer than 50% of the people in America from then and on will be white European stock. That's not a bad thing. That's a, that's a source of our strength. He's got other big plans. We have to root out the systemic racism. He's been in public office, part of the system for 50 years. But what suddenly woke him up to systemic racism? Maybe George Floyd murder was a breaking point. Murder, you see. And so, when he emerged from his basement for his first in-person campaign event on June 1st, this was it. Like many officers today, Joe Biden showing solidarity with demonstrators taking a knee in that photo. Earlier, a reporter asked him if Donald Trump is a white supremacist. So whether he is or is not a white supremacist, he encourages them, everything he does, he speaks to them, he's afraid to take them on. How would President Biden deal with white supremacists? I don't convince white supremacists. They're not going to be convinced. They have to be put in jail when they do things that are inappropriate. Watch out, all you white supremacists. Don't do anything inappropriate. And finally, one more plank in the Biden platform. He says he will give local elected officials the tools and resources they need to combat Gentrification. Gentrification means white people moving into a dodgy neighborhood and spiffing it up with latte bars. How's Uncle Joe going to stop that? Is he going to put up signs that say no dogs or white people allowed? Is he going to refuse to recognize a sale or lease to a white person? The poor bloody white man just can't get it right, can he? When he left, that was white flight and it was awful. When he comes back, it's gentrification, and that's awful. Uncle Joe is going to keep white people in their place. There's bound to be a lot that I've missed in the Biden platform, and I haven't come near listening to all his public statements, but you get an idea. And I'll leave you with one more idea. If you type Antifa.com into your browser, you are redirected straight to Joe's campaign page. It's been that way for months. His people could block that traffic any time. I guess they have high hopes for the Antifa vote. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this video channel. There are a lot of people who don't want anyone in the world to see my videos. So if you like this one, please send the link to as many of your friends as you think can possibly stand it. You might also visit our website at amren.com, A-M-R-E-N.com. You'll find videos, podcasts, articles, I think quite a few things that will interest you. Again, thank you very much for watching.